that's it. No more need for speculation. It's been confirmed. Gen 2 is coming. Later this week. So I haven't really been able to put out a lot of content lately, and that's honestly because Pokemon Go, it was pretty dead um, for a little while there, but Niantic has confirmed 80 Gen 2 Pokemon are coming sometime later this week, so uh, definitely going to get out, definitely going to be playing it a lot, uh, definitely going to be definitely not wearing my underwear. Gonna be recording some of that for you, I don't have any footage to really put on here. Uh, I did go out and play for the Valentine's event, which was fantastic, the double candies as always I do love. Uh, and I was able to get two Pokemon that I did not have in my Pokedex, and I finally caught my first Chansey and my first Porygon through that event. So that was really awesome. I hope that they continue to do these sort of events in the future so I can finish up my Pokedex. Now I'm sure many of you are still missing a lot of Gen 1 from your Pokedex as well, uh, so it's kind of annoying not to have that all fully finished, but we just need something new. This game... Uh, was pretty much flatlined. Um, they had nothing going on. It was really hard to get out and play. It was really hard to even watch Pokemon Go videos. So I figured who would even want to watch these. But uh, yeah, so Gen 2 on the way. Uh, really hoping for more events like that. Now the lures that last six hours, which I didn't really get to take advantage of through the event because it's not like it was when it first started where you could just sit for six hours and, and extended periods of time like that and just play. Uh, but now with Gen 2 coming, uh, Niantic announced that they're going to allow the uh, lure modules that last six hours to go all the way up until February 18th, uh, which I believe is Saturday, hinting at the release for Gen 2 to be either Thursday or Friday, and they want um, players to get out and get the most of that, um, you know, be able to rake in the Gen 2 Pokemon from the extended lure times, which is really awesome because uh, if that's the case, yeah, absolutely, I will be using the six hour lures. Uh, to bring in a lot of Gen 2 or as many as uh, Gen 2 as I can. There's also two new berries coming to the game, uh, which is very exciting. So the two berries are the Nana Berry, uh, which is going to slow down a Pokemon's movement, making it easier to catch. Uh, and the second berry is going to be Pinup Berry, which is going to double the amount of candy uh, if you succeed on catching uh, the Pokemon after, uh, after that throw or... or However, that's going to work. Now, what I'm really curious about is the fact, um, 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 what I'm really curious about is, are we going to be able to stack the berry effects? Uh, for instance, using the uh, raspberry that we currently have, in addition to the nanob and the pinup berries, can you use all three berries on a singular Pokemon and get all three benefits? Uh, so I'm kind of interested to see if that stacks. Also, the interface uh, of catching Pokemon is a little different now. Uh, the camera is up at the top, and uh, on the sides you have your choices for the uh, berry that you want to use and the uh, type of Pokeball that you want to use to catch uh, said Pokemon. Um, just a whole lot starting to roll out, so Niantic uh, has finally got back on the horse there, and it looks like they're, uh, they're ready to start moving forward here, and we're ready to start cranking through 2017, and hopefully uh, there's enough content to put out.